As Chief Minister Himanta Bishwi Sharma completes one year in office, let's have a quick look at the eventful year that it was for the man with a mission. Take a look. Signing a historic interstate border deal with Meghalaya, initiating lines of communication with the Alpha Independent to bring it to the talks table, launching a decisive war on drugs and cattle smuggling and going all out to ensure good governance through multiple never-before-seen initiatives. It has been a more than eventful one year for Assam's dynamic Chief Minister, Himanta Bishwa Sharma. A workaholic, a no-nonsense administrator and a man in a hurry when it comes to serving his people. This is what defines Assam CM Himanta Bishwa Sharma, who is perhaps the only Chief Minister in the country not to take a single day off since the time he assumed charge. Clearly, a man on a mission. As he completes one year in office today, here's a sneak peek into what the Chief Minister has achieved and how he converted challenges into opportunities. When Sharma was elevated as Chief Minister in May 2021, the primary challenge for him was to be distinct in approach without much scope to blame the past governments. In short, he was under the scanner from day one and didn't have the advantage of making promises without accountability. His performance in the past one year shows that Sharma not only enjoyed the challenge but made it look simpler. CM Sharma's mission and vision of making Assam one of the top five states in the country in the next five years were made clear from day one. Not surprising therefore is the fact that there have been many firsts in Assam in the last one year. Not only this, in the last one year Sharma also further cemented his place as the leader the entire Northeast looks up to. With his rockstar appeal, he also emerged as the people CM and a dear mama to youngsters. As the key minister and political negotiator during the first term of the BJP government, Sharma brought all Bodo factions together to enter a historic peace accord with the centre in January 2020. The process picked pace further with other ethnic groups to ensure permanent peace after he took charge as CM. The latest in line is the Kabi Peace Accord. However, CM Sharma's biggest achievement post taking charge is the opening of lines of communication with the Paresh Barua led Alpha Independent, which has also responded positively to the move. History was created when Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma signed a landmark agreement with his Meghalaya counterpart, Conrad Sangma, to resolve the interstate border disputes in six out of 12 areas of difference this year. This was the first time that any government or chief minister had come this far in addressing the interstate boundary rows in the region. While the historic deal has been signed with Meghalaya, things are making rapid progress as far as the boundary issue with Arunachal Pradesh is concerned. Official level talks are also underway with Mizoram, with Chief Minister Sharma consistently maintaining that the only solution can come through regular interactions. Soon after taking charge, Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma declared a decisive war on drugs. Firm on not allowing drug managers to ruin families, CM Sharma gave Assam police a free hand to deal with the situation. The massive push ensured that Assam police seized narcotics worth a whopping rupees 512 crores till April 2022, besides arresting as many as 4,560 in connection with drug trade. Maintaining zero tolerance towards criminals has been a big pledge of the Himanta Bishwa Sharma government. Assam's human development score had long suffered due to the high rate of crime, especially crimes against women, which was the highest in Assam before Sharma took charge. However, here was a CM determined to change this without delay. Ten months into office, CM Sharma announced that Assam's crime rate has gone down by 39%. The Chief Minister has consistently maintained that a society cannot defend rapists, murderers and drug peddlers who ruin families. Again, Chief Minister Sharma set a new example by forming an Assam Rhino Protection Task Force in Kaziranga National Park to take on poachers. His government also took steps to free forest and government land from encroachers. Taking governance to people's doorsteps has been the Assam Chief Minister's major thrust in the last one year. From conducting cabinet meetings outside Dispur to holding quarterly conferences with the DCs and SPs, new benchmark was set to ensure good governance and proper implementation of projects. Assam, under the leadership of Sharma, also embarked on a big 
digitization push in a bid to make official work hassle-free. To increase the speed of work and reduce the scope of corruption in public services, the Chief Minister ordered full conversion into e-office mode. The government under Sharma also launched a massive move to rid Assam's offices of middlemen. Empowerment and uplift of women was among Sharma's top priority areas and he began by deciding to relieve up to 25 lakh women from their micro credit loan burden. Dr. Sharma also kept his promise of providing 1 lakh jobs to the youths of Assam in a bid to tackle head-on the unemployment problem that his government has inherited from the past. In a massive and unprecedented outreach to indigenous Hasmis Muslims, Chief Minister Sharma formed as many as seven subcommittees to table recommendations for holistic development of the community in the coming years. This is being seen as a major step towards empowering the indigenous Muslims of Assam and has been widely welcomed. In fact, the seven subcommittees submitted their recommendations recently and identified who the Hasmis Muslims comprise of. Not to forget, while pushing ahead with the development agenda, Chief Minister Sharma also continued doing what he does best. Yes, we are talking about the political acumen of the BJP's Chanakya, who ensured that the ruling coalition grew from strength to strength. BJP and allies swept the bypoles in all six seats in Assam and followed it up with a thumping Rajya Sabha and urban body polls victories. Not only did Sharma single-handedly ensure these victories, but also reduced the opposition Congress to a near non-entity, thus quelling all political opposition in the state. Already known for his pro-people policies, Sharma has rightly emerged as the People's CM who, from day one, started the work of moulding the government machinery to serve the masses. He has rightly emerged as the dearly loved mama of youngsters and son to the elderly. Well, in the last one year, Assam has been on a fast-track path to development. The completion of infra projects ahead of time, boost to health infra, setting the roadmap to convert Guwahati into a mega city, crackdown on crime and drugs and taking governance to the doorsteps are among the key initiatives that have taken shape. However, Chief Minister Sharma is not a man to rest on the laurels. As he steps into second year at office, Assam's Vikas Purush plans to give a further mega push to the work he began a year ago with a thrust on economic growth, addressing issues that need bigger focus and ensuring that every citizen of the state gets a better life.